What's that? I was wondering where my camera was. I can't believe how easy that was. <laughs> Perfect! What good little piggies! <laughs> Gotta prove me wrong, huh? So, so the boys have been together the whole time. They've never been separated from the They're uh, probably gonna have to hack it out to figure out how they're gonna do this with three of them now. But It won't take long, especially with her being the female. Yeah, check it out. Ryan worked hard on these digs for you. Yep. Took us like a month. <laughs> Once we had the right tools, it went fast though. It's, I mean, we, we burned up drills, we burned up, yep. um, probably gave myself permanent wrist damage, driving screws by hand. Um, and I mean, we were hundreds of pallets. I mean, I showed you the pictures. Yeah. Well, it's definitely, definitely a good, cheap way to do it, man. And effective. I'm so excited to have you here. Yeah. yeah. My dad said, I'm not allowed to feed them because I'll get attached to them if I feed them. He said, have Ryan feed them. Hmm. <laughs> I was like, I don't know. Um, I, think, I think a lot of animals are. They seem like they've kindled very quickly when they're put together. Um, the gestation is three months, three weeks, and three days. Yeah is what it's supposed to be with them. So I usually figure on being on Piglet Watch after about the fourth month they've, they've been together. So this is beginning of April, so you're looking at April, May. I think she's still original. I think she's still first generation. So that would put them at about four or five years old now. Yeah, four and a half. <laughs> they like the grass. That one over there especially is chomping down. <laughs> you guys, you settled it so nicely. Oh, I love you so much already. Definitely, definitely looking forward to being even more sustainable and growing our own pork. 
This yeah. is the next level for us. I am so happy and so blessed. Y'all, can you even believe it? Ryan finally said yes. He said yes that I could get pigs. He said yes, literally days before, a friend of ours sent me a private message on Facebook and said, hey Rose, would you be interested in some of our pigs? We're gonna be getting out of pigs and we'd like to give them to you. And I said, actually, yes, I would be interested. Very interested. And they are wonderful. This is the size that they get. They don't get any bigger, nice small size. They are bred to be pasture raised which is going to work out perfectly we will take them out onto the pasture and rotate them and let them have lots of grass and they are a cooney cooney american guinea hog mix super excited they come from really good bloodlines i just couldn't be any happier so we are putting them together right now for breeding and in three months, three weeks, and three days, we will be having piglets on the homestead for the first time. Not our first time with pigs, but it will be our first time breeding them, and I cannot wait. I couldn't be any happier, you guys. Like, I really feel like this is like the next level of homesteading that we just reached a whole new goal in our life. For a spot that's pretty clean. All right, there we go. That spot's pretty clean. For the most part. <laughs> They're hogs. They're hogs. Yeah. They sure are. They like that. Happy Easter, guys. Happy Easter. Happy Easter, pigs. They like our Easter leftovers. <laughs> Those are too picky. Probably they could like be like a person. 